In this video, I'll show you a simple method for adding PBR textures in Blender and how you can control the glossiness of these textures. Okay, so let's start off by downloading a free texture. You'll find a link in the description, then unzip the download. And then in Blender, we can add a subdivision surface modifier to the cube. This is just an example object. And then you can press tab for edit mode, then press Alt Shift S, then one to make it into a perfect sphere. Then you can add some smooth shading. And then let's open a new window by dragging the top right corner and go in to the shader editor. Then select the principled node. And then enable the node wrangler add-on, which is included in Blender. And then we can add the texture setup. So we'll go into the node wrangler tab and then add the principled setup and then find the unzipped folder, go into textures and then select all of them. And now we're going to get the normal map, the roughness map and so on. Let's switch to cycles and use the GPU if you have one. And then in rendered view, you can see that we have the texture with the normal map and the other important maps. Now to control the glossiness, you can add a math node and then add it in between roughness and the principal node. Set it to multiply and you can now control the roughness while still keeping the roughness map. Now, in addition to the multiplication value, you can also edit the metallic value and the specular value to get the optimal roughness and the glossy look of the uh, object. Now, in addition to the material settings, it is also important to add some lighting to the scene. So uh, for this tutorial, I'm just going to add a simple sun, set the strength to five, and we can also make the background a bit darker. Now to control the size of the texture, you just go into the UV editor, press tab for edit mode, and then press A to select all, S to scale, and G to grab. And uh, check out my channel for more tutorials.